So today I am going to share with you some of the top key trends in eyewear for 2022 and perhaps more importantly, who can wear them. Now, the great thing at the moment in eyewear design and in fashion design is designers are now really designing for the individual in mind. And there are so many different shapes, styles, colours out there, whether you want something really bold, bright, dramatic and eccentric, or more luxury and understated, there is something out there for you. So I'm going to outline now some of the key 2022 eyewear trends. Now I have to begin with one of my own personal favourites and that is the cat eye and the cat eye is a huge trend in 2022. Now the cat eye has actually been around adorning the faces of you know screen icons and everyday women who love a little bit of glamour really for the last century. The cat eye was designed by an American heiress Altina Shinasi in in the 1920s and she really created the cat eye because she felt that there weren't any designs out there which really flattered women, nothing that was sexy and made women feel attractive and good about themselves. So she took inspiration from the Venetian Harlequin masks and they were initially called Harlequin glasses and eventually became known as the cat eye or the upswept. And the cat eye really is a timeless classic which has been around really for the last century and has created its own distinct style in each decade and right now the cat eye is back and it's back in all of its forms right from the really edgy oversized cat eye to the softer more modified cat eye through to the micro cat eye the really tiny cat eyes to the really oversized ones so there really is a cat eye for everyone and it's actually a really flattering shape for most women because we have lift at that top of the frame and which adds a little width and can be quite slimming and it also really opens up and lifts that eye area so i've put a couple of the designs on the screen there so it's worth bearing in mind um, your particular face shape and your personal style when it comes to selecting a cat eye so if you are someone with a longer face shape then choosing deeper cat eye frames are going to be better if you're someone with a very short face shape sort of equal in length to width then the kind of micro cat eyes are going to be more flattering so going to open up that cheek area and create the illusion of length. If you're someone with a really dramatic, edgy kind of personality, those kind of really angular cat eyes can pull out all of your angles or even give you angles if you've got a softer face shape. And if you are somebody with a more romantic style and prefer a more elegant, understated vibe, then those softer cat eyes are going to work for you. And on the screen there, I've also included some of this season's key colour trends. We have that periwinkle blue, we have that tangerine orange, we have that kind of merlot wine red and lots of greens. So these are really key colours for this season. And of course, how can I talk about the cat eye without talking about the glitzy adornment, which is my personal favourite. And adornment sunglasses are really becoming a big trend this season in 2022 as well. I often find the cat eye style tends to appeal to women who like a bit of glamour, who like to express their femininity and it works really well alongside some of the key fashion trends on the high street at the moment which is those kind of long floaty dresses, vintage inspired dresses and florals and lots of sheen and sparkle which is around on the high street this season. So we'll move on to the next trend, which is really the chunky acetates. Now, this has been around for quite some time now, and you often see this kind of what I call the oversized geek sheet trend adorning the face of lots of Hollywood celebs. It's also quite popular along, uh, amongst those kind of young um, urban creatives. And it's really quite a bold statement and can look great with those kind of, as, it look as good in a sharp fitted suit as it does in, a, in like a jumper and a pair of jeans. Now, the thing with this particular style is you do have to be careful of your natural scale. It typically looks fabulous on those who are, you know, 
large in scale, larger eyes, larger nose, larger features, and have longer faces um, because it, it's it's more balanced and harmony with their look. If you are someone that's very petite in scale and, and fine boned, this kind of look can really overwhelm you. So it's important to take that into account. Also, we're seeing this um kind of look particularly in the celebs in the really kind of dark colors the blacks the browns the tortoise shells they're really um what we're seeing them a lot in it's worth bearing in mind that those kind of dark colors work for you if you have dark hair and you know dark eyes but if you have blonde hair and blonde eyes those darker colors can be a little bit overwhelming so it might be better to think more along the lines of navies rather than blacks and we are seeing this season some of these chunky acetates coming in the softer tones which is a welcome relief and so can work for those of you that have lighter hair color let's move on to another key 2022 trend and that is the fine metals we are seeing a lot of really fine wiry metals and we're really seeing them in all shapes all size sizes all different colors I've put three examples there on the screen and they can be really quite fabulous for those of you with more petite features more fine boned and it can allow you to express your unique style without your frames really really kind of dominating you um, we are seeing a lot of rounds and we're also seeing a lot of double bridges but we're also getting a lot more geometric shapes as well and bright bold colors so the only thing I would say is if you are larger in scale, larger features, I probably would avoid this style. And if you do want, if you do have preference for metal frames, go for something which is a little bit thicker in metals and acetates. And also these kind of fine, delicate looks can work well as a summer pair of glasses, especially if you're wearing more floaty, delicate materials. It can just work in balance and harmony then with your overall look. And the next trend is the transparent acetate. So this trend has really been gathering pace really over the past few years. And it's what no, is known as the Grammy chic trend. And we are seeing a lot of those um, either completely clear transparent acetates or tones of mint, um, buttermilk, um, smoky greys, icy blues, and they're all really key trends this season. Now, it is a really nice flattering look actually for those with lighter hair and lighter skin who typically struggle with lots of frames on the high street because often most frames can be quite too dark for them or too bright. So this is a really good look for those of you with lighter hair and lighter skin tones. However, for those of you that, uh, that love this trend um, but have much darker hair, you might want to go for some of the deeper transparent acetates. For example, that Merlot Red, which is on the screen there, and that's a really key trend at the moment. I mean, you might want to pair these transparent acetates with the um, controversial sheer dress trend, which is uh, seems to be quite current among the celebs at the moment. It'll balance out the look quite nicely. Um, I'm not sure that's for me. It's a bit cold, but, uh, you know, I'm here to give you the trends. So now let's talk about another key trend, the round. Now, the round has been around um, for quite some time. And I often find people who love the round frame really seem to adopt it as their signature style. I mean, that's certainly the case with my own clients. Um, and then we have, you know, icons like Gandhi and Steve Jobs, John Lennon and things like that. People who really like this style really seem to, yeah, adopt it as their signature style. Now, the round is around in all its forms at the moment. So we are seeing very small micro round, oversized round, chunky rounds, fine wiry rounds, you know, whatever kind of round that you want, there is something out there for you. Now, if you do have a very round face, I probably would avoid a very round frame. But if you like this style, you can have a more modified version, which is a little more oval and um, 
or one which has a little bit of lift to it as well. That would work for you if you have a round face. Now, also think about the length of your face. So if you're someone that has a longer face, again, those kind of deeper rounds are gonna work better. And again, if you're someone that has a shorter face, going for smaller rounds are going to work better for you. So most people, contrary to popular belief, can actually do a round frame or a modified version of the round. So the next key trend is the geometric shapes. And this has been another one which has really been gathering momentum over the last couple of years. And we've seen a lot of the independent eyewear designers bringing these shapes out in acetates, in metals, in, you know, oversized shapes in undersized and in and a multitude of different colors this particular the kind of geometric shape really seems to appeal to those with a creative or more dramatic style and if you're someone with quite an angular face this kind of style can really pull out all of those angles for a really edgy kind of sexy look and if you're someone with a rounder face or a more softer face this kind of look can almost appear to add some structure to your face. And again, like all of the other shades, be mindful of your scale and your colouring. So if you are somebody with, um, you know, a larger scale, go for those thicker acetates. If you are someone who is smaller in scale, go for those more fine acetates and metals. And again, with colours, if you are softer, lighter in colouring, go for those softer, lighter colours. And if you are darker in colouring, go for those deeper, rich colours. And we've got some key colour trends on the side uh, this year. Daffodil yellow, huge on the high street and in eyewear. Your teals, and we're also getting loads of different shades of green, all key trends for 2022. Um, I just want to touch on some of the key colour and pattern trends in eyewear in 2022 and we've obviously touched on some of them in the previous images um, but the, the colours out there at the moment which are really key are your kind of daffodil yellows, your tangerine oranges, your teals, pinks, anything through from your soft blush pinks right through to the hot pinks. We are seeing periwinkle blue, huge trend at the moment, lots of purples and green again is a big trend, anything from emerald green to sort of your khaki greens. Now we're also seeing on the high street a lot of kind of mixing of patterns. So you might get an animal print with a floral um, so that's a really key trend on the high street. And we're also seeing that come through in some of the eyewear designs. Stripes, a big trend. You're going to be seeing that a lot on the high street. And again, coming through into the eyewear designs. Played, that kind of played pattern. Again, on the high street, coming through into those eyewear designs. Animal print, been around for ages. Not showing any signs of going anywhere soon. And we're also seeing florals in the eyewear designs again which is a big trend on the high street lots of floral dresses out there floral shirts for men and also lots of glitz and sparkles so we're seeing a lot more adornments on eyewear adornments on clothing and shines uh, and she will get in like um gold leaf painting on glasses and things like that so that is the eyewear and style update for you 2022. I do hope you have enjoyed it. And don't forget with any of these trends, there is something that will work for you, but it's important to take into account your personal style, you, the colors you love and feel good in, and not to just wear a trend just because is a trend. It's really important that it does work for you. And I think we're really fortunate at the moment that there are so many designs out there, so much choice out there that you really can find that eyewear style, which is going to make you look and feel good. And if you need any help, um, you can always come and visit me and book an eyewear styling consultation. So do check out um, Style Optique. And if you have enjoyed this video, please do share with your friends and um, comment below. And thank you so much for watching.